What's going on you guys? Welcome back to some more Shadows of Doubt. Uh, we were just about to leave our apartment uh, when we cut it off, so we're going to plot a route to 101 O'Reilly Building using the buttons and the address on the window. So we'll go here, and I already lost it. Where the hell was his... where does he live? I don't know. Profile only 4%. We know his name. That's all we know. Uh, plot a route 101 using the button on the evidence window. Okay. Uh, cool. Note found. I think I f didn't add it, maybe, so we'll go back to Brand, J. Brand, apartment building, pin that. There we go. So now we've got this. Let's resume and then open here. And we will plot a course. Uh, plot root. Close the case board with F. You unlock the door. Okay. Okay, shit. Um, door handle for options. Well, we live here. Just open it. <laughs> um, Okay, so it really opens up now. Shit, okay. Um, so we're going to head to the first floor here for this. Guess we'll cross down. I know that I could be taking the elevator, but that's not my speed here. Um, oh my, there's people wandering around in the world. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Um, hello. So I guess we'll immediately exit and uh, close the door behind us and just get to work. What a... It's beautiful, but also not at the same time. Um, okay, well now that we're out in the world here, we'll do a little bit of wandering. Uh, we're going to over here, I'm assuming. Um, we'll stick to the path for now. There's a sink clinic. That's a little weird. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're going over here to investigate. I don't even think we have much on this guy. No. So, let's go ahead and open the door here. Go all the way up. It'll be on the first floor, we're told. All the way up here, 101, okay. To know if a door is locked or not, you have to try and open it. Locked doors can be unlocked by focusing on it. Well, let's be polite. Oh, that's a light switch. I was going to knock. Knock? All right, yeah, let's knock. Breaking and entering. Well, we're not going to do that. Um, you can find trees of red wires. Cool. It's worth checking for doormats. Uh, ventilation. Hello. Um, or you can just break the door down. Okay. Anybody home? Hello? Anybody? 2.57 a.m. 101 Riley Building. Hello? Another way in. Is there any security? There is, but we can just do a little bit of trolling. Alright, we got a lock picket. Um, can we just... I don't know. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um, there's a vent there. That doesn't really help my case, does it now, though? Um... You can find by picking a lock at the handle or another way. Well, let's check the exterior of this. What's this do? Sabotage. How do we sabotage? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um. Uh, alright. I think we've sabotaged it. I think. It's locked, but, uh. Huh. I mean. Can we just. Is there. Any, is it under the ear? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, we didn't have to do all that. Um, well, let's go ahead and open this. Unlock it. Come on in. Shut the door behind me. Um, we're trespassing. If you find it, you'll have to... Oh. Oh. Oh no. Okay. We'll have to escape. Alright. Well, let's do what we need to. Look around for vents and... Water the body! Okay. Identify the body by finding a photo ID. Try looking around. Um, let's take his prints real quick while we're here. There we go. Uh, unknown citizen, new information. Link to fingerprints and photo. Find time of death by analyzing the cadaver. Alright, let's do a little analyzation here. Uh, how old is this body? A bullet wound from low caliber ammunition. 8mm or 9 by 6 or 32. Okay, let's close John Bryant, the building, all that. We'll pin the entry wound of gunshot, and uh, from examining the body, it appears the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine the time of death is between uh, 0 midnight and 1.15 Tuesday, Jan 3rd. It is. This happened, like, recently. Okay. So, this happened very recently. Um, let's see. We don't know who this guy is, but he is our victim. He is an adult. We'll pin him, because he is who died. Um, and there we go. And, uh, okay. Okay. We're still trespassing. Um, a Chevalier mine. Chevalier. Uh, thrilling. Okay, it's nothing really important. This is John Bryant. Okay. Well, we have a wallet. Um, 
Fuck. Okay. Well, we got our guy. He's dead. Was there anything in here? Well, it found. It belongs to John Bryant. Um, hmm. Alright, well, we'll check this out in a little bit. Um, what's this? A work ID. We'll also take that. What did you do for work, John? John was an HR administrator at Desk Lab Clerical. Okay. We know a lot about John now. Um, look around for vents for potential exit. What's this note say here? Uh, Tonight you need a piece. Go to Dragon House Imperium. Knock, then give the password Angel Face. A. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper, brother. Um, we'll close all these. We'll organize it. So work ID. John Brandt will go up at the top with his work ID and his wallet if we need it. There was a note connecting him, and we'll put that down here as a secondary place. And this note just said, find John Brandt. So we'll, that's, that's the overarching goal right in the middle. We've got some information about John's death, which we'll put John at the center now and work an idea up here. Um, okay, all right, well, we're still on the case here. Um, nothing in the fridge that really gives me any clues. There's another note, though. Uh, not really important, not really important, okay. Um, a lot of bugs in here, what's the note say here? John Bryant work wrote a HR administrator, nine to 1700 Monday to Friday, it's Tuesday, so he's missed work. Um, safe code 8765, 8765, keep that in mind. Um, advertisement, another work ID. Okay, we'll, uh, hold on to that as well. He's got multiple IDs. That's very interesting. Um, okay, okay. Uh, we're still breaking and entering, which is concerning, but let's search the trash in here. Maybe he threw something out. Uh, starch coal, it's nothing. Uh, dirty napkin, nothing. Receipt from Shark Sandwich. Paid by John Brandt, but it doesn't tell us much. No, that, that doesn't give me much. Um, there appears to be three casings on the ground. Uh, let's examine those, can we? Maybe. If I can get it right. Expended 8mm. Okay, we'll pin that. It was an 8mm. Um, helpful for the rest of the picture here, so we know that. There were three shots. Um... Interesting. Um, can we take a note, actually? Can I? Custom note, new sticky note. Three, X3, three, eight millimeter gun, or shell casings at scene. Okay. Oops, at scene to, there we go. Um, so we'll put these, and uh, we'll stop our search of him, but we'll put this right here. Just as a reminder, that's our note there, um, that we discovered three casings. Maybe we'll find a gun that's missing three in its mag. Just a thought. Um, let's get some lights on in this nerd's apartment. Um, nothing really going on here. Is this a note on the desk? It's a dirty plate. Man, this guy had a pretty piss poor take its cash. He's dead. Printed V-mail. To John Brandt from Unknown. New policy. Dear Mr. J. Brandt, thank you for contacting to request a life insurance policy. Unfortunately, our checks indicate that you do not meet the required social economic requirements to be approved. Why not check out a range of alternatives for ex-offenders and those less fortunate, such as our salary requisition scheme. Wishing you luck, Representative Number 47. So he was trying to get... What's this? Come from... Keep your tax records. Fitzgerald Street Tavern. Not paid. Added the tab. So he had a tab going. Hmm. Hmm. We'll keep that in mind. He had a tab going. It's a lead. Um, Mr. J. Brandt. That's who we know. Um, I don't think there's anything in here we can really click on. No. Um, we are really just digging through this man's shit. I'll tell you. That, that's more paper. What do we have? The New Leaf Association for the Legally Challenged. We are a friendly, non-judgmental group welcoming all those who wish to become productive members of society or advisors can help return to work and begin making social fabulous new leaf new me six-step program uh join now uh, one of our chapters today kindly sponsored by kensington indigo that's someone we'll have to know probably um anything in any of these the wages of rot no, doesn't really do anything for me uh another book another book tons of fucking books um I don't know. Anything under there? No. 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 What was that? Apple case. This man lived in, like, just shit. Um, okay. And in here is the uh, man's room. Um, there's a safe. The safe is open. 
The safe is open, so there was something in it, and it was cracked. Um, let's see his calligraphy set. He did calligraphy, that we know as much. Um, nothing, ooh, nothing in that drawer, nothing in that drawer, or that one. Um, I don't think there's anything specifically in this man's drawers. No, anything in here? There's a storage box. What's in here? Oh, an employment contract. Employment agreement, private and confidential. This employment agreement is made as of this 11676, which was a couple years ago, and in between John Brandt employee and Desk Lab clerical. Let's pin that. That's an important location. That's where he worked. He was an employee that we know as much. We're also going to pin his contract just to have it. Um, but going back in, the employee undertakes not to disclose in any form, whether written or verbal, any information acquired as a result of their employment. Should the employee disclose any info or inf item information, the employer has a right to serve them with a notice 67, 647D consisting of immediate dismissal, enhanced interrogation procedures, private custodial detention of an unspecified duration, punary pecuniary sanctions, including seizure any and all private property and holdings of next of kin, any other measures deemed suitable by the Disclosure and Disciplinary Committee. Sign, John Brand. We have his signature now. Very good. Um, interesting. Did he leak something that he wasn't supposed to? It just, the plot thickens. Let's check the rest of this guy's room for any clues. Um, I'm thinking we need to get the fuck out of here quick. Uh, we have a code breaker here. Can we take that? Inventory full, drop something. What's this? A diary? Oh, fuck. Monday at 11, this is supposed to help. The group leader said so. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. Put down, but Nicola. It's another person of interest. We'll hold on to that. We don't know who you are, but we'll figure it out. Everything sounds like a good idea when she says it. Trying to cut down on starch. Not easy. Seven cans today. Good day today. Went walking with Nicola down to the water. Even saw a bird. Felt like a normal nobody and a normal afternoon. Five cans of starch. He's doing better. Angelique called... Ooh, another name. We'll put you down here. Our location's up here. And our notes go up here. Awesome. Um, Friday, 1 a.m., Angelique called. Should have known it wouldn't be this easy meeting tomorrow. He drank hella starch, so Angelique is somewhat important. Tried to get out, said I didn't want to do this anymore, that I was done, but Angelique just laughed, told me it was in my blood like the starch. Hope Nicola is safe. Shouldn't have told her anything, but they knew something was wrong. And we said no secrets. Wish I'd kept my goddamn mouth shut. She won't pick up. Want to head over there, but Angelique might be watching. Makes me sick. No choice. Got to. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a... I think Angelique's my current suspect. Um, and with that being said, we're going to have to start thinking of a way out of here, because we are breaking and entering in the course of our uh, work. There's a knife in the drawer, just doing a last check before we get out of this bitch. Um, nothing in the oven, and the man is still dead. Oh dear. Okay. Well, um, oh, hello. This is interesting. In the first, meat Nicolette Thack, shark sandwich bar, be careful what you say. Anything in here? Next month. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Don Brandt, 22nd was his birthday in April. Nothing for May, June, July, August, September, no, October, November, December. That's it. Um, what do we got in here? Another drawer. Possibly some more documents in here. Mm, ooh, hello. Files? Nothing. Um, there's a key to something. It's a key to the house. Uh, a city directory, telephone, and address book. Did he have anything in his address book? Aha! Pin in that. Holy shit, that's a fat find. Um, we know Nicola. We know where Nicola lives. We'll return to that. We know Alexander, Julieta, Luna, Brooke. Man, we know this man. We know who he knows. But we don't have the person we need. We'll take that back to our house and call up Nicola. Does Nicola have a number? Nicola? Yeah, okay. We have a name and a number, so we'll call and figure that out later. Right now we need to worry about escaping, but, um, can we take these? All right, you can't, but I know what it does. Um, anything in these? Negative, negative. Uh, just gonna open these drawers over you, John. I'm sorry, pal. I'll take a little bit of your money. You don't need it anymore, that's for sure. And, um, where do these footprints go? Are these mine? Am I leaving footprints? No. So they go over into here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, um, painting, anything? No? Alright, uh, escaping, that's gonna be the to-do now.
Anything in the medicine cabinet, dental floats. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh wait, oh wait, was that me? Oh fuck, the print scanner. Okay. Uh, point to the scanner where you want. Okay. Unknown fingerprints. For example, set A and subsequently a bar. Oh man, I forgot we had this thing. Well, damn. Um. Anything? There we go. We've got the victim. That's John Brand. Um. Anything on the perp? What do we have here? Scan. John. Um. Actually, let's see. Let's scan. Oh, it comes up with an icon. Who touched the safe? Yeah, who touched the safe? Actually, that's a good point. Um, scanning. Scanning. Right mouse button. It belongs to John Brand. Damn it. So it's just still him. Who is this one? Pipe A, John Brand. So it's still him. Well, what was he trying to do? We got another fingerprint in here. Type B. Hello. We don't know whose fingerprint this is. We'll put you down at the bottom. We have an unknown fingerprint. Um, maybe I should tab onto uh, his. Yeah. So we know this is our guy's fingerprint. We'll put that up there with him. Um, we know your fingerprint, man. We've got you there. Um, this print. Nobody else lives here. Did anybody try accessing files? No. Got something here. What do we got? Right there. And it is John, again. We don't know who this other person is, but we've got another print here. Type B. They're found all over the apartment. Okay. Um, is there anything near the body? Uh, let's see. Inspect him. We know that's him. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, we've already searched him, I think. Have we? Bullet wound? Yeah, we did. And... Yeah, okay. Nothing new here. Um, let's take his print, put it down. We've got it. Um, any other prints for me to really see? Um, I think we got the prints that we need, I think. Um, are they on this? John touched them. Safe code, doesn't really do much for me. Can we see these? Did they touch the casings at all? Hey, did they? Boots, size 6. Interesting. Of made for boots, size six. We'll save that. That could be connected to something. Um, what is that connecting to? Oh, to the building we're in. Yeah. So we have a boot print here. Um, yeah. Okay. Check for recent calls. We can check calls. Can we call log this guy? Um, oop. Hang it up. But let's see. Let's check. Fingerprint inspect belongs to him. Check for recent by dialing 4510 all. Okay. Um, dial 4 or 5410 all. Is that. Oh, my bad. 5410000. Telephone. Last caller was 29. A telephone 29203. Alright, what's well, in the address book? 29203. Is that Nicola? No. 29-2003. Jordan. Jordan? Who the fuck? Okay. Um, well, that really puts things into perspective. Okay. This is just thickening very quickly. Um, so, we know that's there. We know a call occurred literally the night before. Okay. All right, man. All right. This guy is, uh, this Jordan guy is getting a little sus right now. So we'll put that over there. Um, and I think that's where we'll call it. So thank you guys so much for watching my investigation. I am going to escape in the next one and we are going to go after, or at least think of our next steps. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you've seen the next one and yeah, later.